hey, I've got a few holy gas here. Uh, not because I'm gonna talk about them that much, but because they just look cool. Hey, I've been lately involved, uh, asked to participate in a few interesting projects where I was asked to uh, fill in the concept with my photographs, like support it, even maybe amplify the concept. I don't want to go into more details of those projects because they are not all mine and they are not finished yet, but maybe we talk about them later. But, you know, I was asked to find pictures that would support the concept. So I first study the concept and try to understand what is it all about. Then I go into my own picture library and try to find pictures that are that would fit into that concept and also would look pleasing, would be well executed and maybe even among themselves would um, uh, form a body of work. So they would be just not totally random pictures but have something to do both with the concept but between themselves. And I came up with pictures like this. So then next morning I took a look at the pictures that I've selected and I found those pictures utterly boring. There was nothing wrong with any particular picture but together it was just like a pint of warm beer or, or a beige car. Like there was really nothing exciting about them. Uh, so I was kind of like disappointed and even a bit scared, so I thought I need to shake this out of my system. So I decided to take a roll of really ugly pictures. I took my Holga, hey I'm talking about Holga. I took my Holga, uh, put in some 8P5 plus film and uh, then there's this art community a few miles down the road. A uh, bunch of hippie. I don't know if that's an art community. It actually, could be just that people who don't want to work to spend time there. They've uh, dragged an upright piano into the woods and left it to rotten there, and then they put a mannequin next to it, kind of like playing the piano. And the mannequin is without hands. I mean, there's something deep in, in, in that and, and it looks awesome. There's an old radiator left in the woods. That looks cool. There's an old uh, um, caravan or like, what's, what's, that? what's the word? Like a trailer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think any... Actually, there may be somebody even living in them. So I took some pictures and with the purpose of making these pictures but ugly, rough and not really like aesthetically pleasing took pictures like this. I came back home and I developed the pictures and sure, I, I fulfilled the goals that I had set myself. Underexposed, muddy, smushy, ugly pictures. Nothing like my first series of pictures. But there's no way I could use these kind of pictures in any projects or at least in those that I'm working on right now. Um, 
So it seems that it's not a good idea to have pretty pictures, just a bunch of pretty pictures. But it also goes too far if you just put an ugliness as your goal in life and you just take ugly pictures. That's not good either. So I thought, let me go back to my library and see if I can find a few pictures that would fulfill three requirements. They wouldn't be pretty, no prettiness. There would be a meaning for a picture. They wouldn't just be ugly for ugliness sake, but there would be something more. There would be maybe even a story in the picture. A reason to exist, which my previous, those pictures in the art community don't necessarily have. And then the third thing, that they would be suitable for a project. So there would be pictures that I would proudly say that they I, I did those pictures. I took the pictures and, and processed them and I, I, I've done them. So not pretty, meaningful and mine. And I found these kind of pictures. Yeah, so I don't know what's the what's the lesson of, of this all. Um, but there is there is a lesson. I, I'm not sure if I have found it yet. Uh, let me try. It's not enough to take a pretty pitch. And it's not enough to take an ugly pitch. They are equally meaningless. They are equally waste of film. Uh, there gotta be something that there got to be a reason for a picture to exist. And then the execution must be such that it pinpoints that reason. Easier said than done. Uh, on a practical level, maybe the learning is that I got to go out and break some rules. <laughs> See you later.